Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to bind mount a local directory inside a Docker container. So a local directory on the host system is going to be, be mounted inside the container. So uh, we don't have any containers running on this particular system yet. So we're going to spin one up with a local directory bind mounted. So I'm logged in as a regular user and I've created a directory in my home directory called data that contains a text file. So data, so that just contains this a string test info in that text file, right? So we're going to mount this data directory inside a container. So we're going to say docker run dash TID dash dash name. We're going to give our container a name. Let's call it test three. And uh, we're going to say dash V. Then we are going to say home user one data. Now this is going to be the directory on our host system. Then we, we say we type a colon and say data. So this, this directory is going to be the directory inside the container. So slash data. And uh, so from there, we're going to specify the image. We're going to use the Ubuntu image and that's it. So let's launch this. And now let's check, check what we have here. Um, Docker PS dash a, and you see we have our running container here. So let, let's attach to it. All right, so let's just go ahead and uh, just exec a shell. So let, let's go ahead and type Docker exec dash it test test three and a bash. So we're just gonna exec a bash shell on our container. And there we are, we're logged into our container as root. So yeah, we're, we're gonna go ahead and check this out and look at what's in the data directory here. So data, and you see there's our text file that we created and let, let's cat it, cat data. And there we go, contains that, that string that we had in the mounted file system. So this is within the container inside the data directory. So this is the volume that we mounted and this is the, the file that's inside that. So we can, we can, um, yeah, we can exit out of here that's the same file that we had right here in that data directory. So let's go ahead and inspect this. Docker inspect test three. All right, so let's go ahead and actually inspect it like this. So. Yeah, this is not going to give us what we want. So let's go ahead and just check. And there we go. We can see our mount. So this is displaying the mount. So we're going to inspect the container and show mounts, right? So we, we can see there's one bind mount and you can see the directory on the host system and the directory uh, inside the container. So that's it, that just shows our bind mount. So um, let's go ahead and remove this. There we go. And let's create another one. So we're, we're gonna create one that's basically the exact same container, but we're gonna make it read only. So RO for read only. And let's create this. So now we could we could put things, let's say touch test five or test four txt inside data right now um, let's exec into this there we go you, you see we have a, a new file in here so let's let's actually go into data from within the container and let's try to create something so touch uh, test let's call this one test 5 and read only file system. So since we 
we have mounted this, we bind mounted that directory as read only. It's a read only file system and we can't, we can't write to it, right? So uh, yeah, nothing there. So let's get out of here and let's remove this again. So we're gonna stop and remove test three. Let's recreate it, not as read only. I should have shown you this before. But uh, all right, stopped it. I'm going to RM it. That's still really quick. There we go. So we've killed it. Now let's recreate this, but without the RO. See right here where you specified the uh, directories to bind mount, you have a colon RO for read only. Remove that. So it's going to be read write now. So let's relaunch this container with a, a read write directory. So um, let's see here. Inside data, we've got these two files, right? So let's exec in and jump into our data directory. And from here, let's try creating something. Let's say touch test five, test five.txt. And there you go. We can we can touch a file. So let's say if we wanted to create another one. There we go. We can create things in that directory. So let, let's exit out of here and look inside our data directory. And there you can see the files we created from within the container on the host system. And there you go. That's how you can create, you know, something that you can, you can create a read write uh, bind mount or a read only bind mount. All right, so we can also do this with Docker Compose. So we can uh, bind mount a uh, volume using Docker Compose. So let's take a look at this example Docker Compose file. So this is gonna create, um, you know, one container here and specify the container name, use the Ubuntu image and to make sure we have a TTY and STDN uh, open. And uh, we're gonna specify volumes and this is our bind mounted volume. So this is the directory on the host system and this is the directory inside the container just as we did manually using Docker before. So let's get out of here and let's just check real quick doc, Docker PS-A nothing up and running. So we're going to say docker compose up dash D and we're going to start it right up. And now if we say docker PS there, there we go. We see our, our, uh, you know, there, there it is. There's our, um, container running as test four this time. So we're going to just inspect it real quick. We're going to inspect mounts and we see right here, there's our mount. There's our local directory and on our host system, and that is in the container. So we can just verify this real quick. Home user one data. There we go. There's the directory. And then we're going to go right on ahead and exec into it. Docker exec dash IT. You're probably tired of seeing me do this by now. Test four and bash so we're going to jump right in there and just check the data directory and there we go there's our same files inside that data directory and that that's basically it that's everything i wanted to show you today um you know about bind mounting local directories in docker all right so hopefully you found this video useful and um you know you might want to give me a thumbs up also you want to hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more videos like this and we have a ton of other great tech related content we cover a wide variety of things everything from like linux to servers hardware software electronics raspberry pis 3d printing cryptocurrencies um you know, you know linux windows mac os all sorts of great stuff you're not going to want to miss out on robots um, programming coding all that sort of great stuff um, you know, anything DevOps or software developer related, a lot, lot of Linux stuff. So if you don't want to miss out on that stuff and you want your YouTube feed to be all that much better, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss, miss out on the, the great content we have coming up after this. You might want to also check out some of our existing content too. Also, hit the uh, little bell icon, otherwise YouTube won't let you know when we do come out with new videos and you don't want to miss out on those. And um, also leave a comment down below if you know something that I don't know or if you have any questions, comments, criticisms, anything you want to say, not just for me, but for the next person who watches this video, um, definitely leave a comment down below. And that is about it for today. So as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video.